Jack, congratulations. What was your initial reaction when you found out? I was warming up, obviously, to prepare for yesterday's play uh, when Rod told me, and uh, I was a bit taken back, a bit shocked, and didn't have time to sort of reflect on it, I suppose. We had sort of straight out of the middle and, and sort of started playing, so uh, it's pretty good in a way. I didn't have much time to dwell on it, but um, no, last night it sort of had time to sink in, and yeah, I'm very, very happy with being selected. And the Warriors' first dig here, obviously, you enjoyed bowling in, in that innings. Yeah, no, definitely. I, I've had some good, uh, good fortune over here in Perth. Um, Sort of the games I've played over here, I've taken a few wickets, so it was good to get some wickets in the first innings. Not so lucky yesterday, but um, our bowling attack at the Redbacks is, is quality, so one of the boys always steps up. What did you take out of your maiden trip for Australia over in South Africa? Looking back on that, oh, it was a great experience and something I'll, I'll look back on forever. Was the, the result wasn't what we wanted, um, disappointing, but they're a quality outfit and, and they played some very good cricket. Um, personally, uh, I was pretty disappointed in my first game. I managed to bounce back to the second game and sort of show what I, I am capable of. So I'm and very happy. You've got a couple of fivers against South Africa up there in Queensland. Does that give you a bit more confidence if you have to face against some of those Test squad members? Yeah, I've, I've played played against some of them now, and I sort of, like I said, yeah, got some got some wickets. So it gives it a bit of a give it a confidence boost if I do get the opportunity. What would it mean if you do get that Test night if you make the finals, final eleven? As as a youngster growing up, it's that's what you sort of aim for. You aim for the baggy green and. That's sort of the, the pinnacle. Um, so yeah, if, if that it comes up and I do get selected, I'll be very, very happy. Do you feel you're ready, and what gives you that confidence that you are ready? Uh, I, I do feel I'm ready. I, I've got a sort of good knowledge of my game. If it's any going to be time, it's it's going to be now. Um, I'm in some good form, and, and like I said, I, I've sort of know my game and know what works for me. Now, have you been given any indication as to whether you will be playing first day? Uh, no, not at this stage. So you've got a bit of a liking for the Wacker pitch, haven't you, over the years? Over the years, I've, I've tended to do pretty well over here. Um, it is a place where it can be a, a great place for bowls, but it'll also be a horrible place as well. It's a quick outfield and, and it comes on the bat very well. So for batters, it's a good place to score runs, but bowlers, you get it in the right areas, it's, it's a great place to bowl. South Africa said you guys have probably got some mental scars from that one-day series. How do you feel from a player that was there? Uh, it's one day is completely different to test match, a longer form game. So um, personally, I don't think so, but um, letting in preparation is going to be key. And like I said, two quality outfits, going to be a great test match. What have you done in the last two years, Joe, to the senior game develop so much? A uh, big, big sort of work on emphasis uh, on emphasis on strength and sort of fitness um, component, really. Um, not a lot changed action-wise, uh, bowling-wise, uh, but just yeah, probably probably fitter and stronger and been able to go for longer. Joe, what do you reckon about this uh, theory that batsmen have to be able to bat as well? What's your batting like? You know, feeling strong there? You're going to do a bit of extra work? <laughs> I've yeah, tend to over the, over the years been a bit of not watching for our team and then obviously get the opportunity to bat the next day. Um, no, I work really hard on my batting, uh, a lot of pride myself on my batting. Um, yeah, th at this stage I sort of want, want to push my batting as much as possible. Um, I haven't got the, probably the, the runs I would have liked to over the years, but um, no, batting's one focus I really put a lot of time into. And could it, you be surprised to hear that could have been the difference with Jackson Bird missing out because of his batting? Uh, well, I, not too sure on that, but uh, at this stage, I'll put a lot of emphasis in my batting, a lot of, lot of time and work in my batting, so if that's, that's been the thing that's got me over the line, then all that work's been coming come in handy, I suppose. You, you were a Perth scorcher for a while, and you, you were part of one of the greatest cricket tours in cricket history for South Africa a few years ago. Um, what impact did that stint have on, on you and your development and where you are today? Oh, it, was, it was great. You got got to tour overseas, you got to play against some top quality players and that's probably the first time I rubbed shoulders with proper international players and, and players that who know their game and play really well. Um, I managed to go okay in that, in that tournament and uh, so it gave me a bit of confidence leading, leading forward in, into the years to come. So, You're a Coffs Harbour boy, eh? can, you, can you tell us a bit about your journey from Coffs Harbour to, uh, to South Australia? Yeah, I obviously grew up, grew up in Coffs and spent a bit of time between Coffs and Newcastle. Uh, made the move to Sydney and Spent three years in Sydney playing grey cricket. Uh, got, got rookie contracted there for one year and then got the offer to come across to South Australia. So I took it and haven't looked back.